Welcome to this high school transition days video. And this vi video is just a brief video that's designed to inform you as to what's going to be happening over the next couple of weeks. And the whole idea behind the video is so that you don't feel as nervous because when it comes to high school registration, this is a big moment for you. So we want to make sure that everybody is informed and everybody knows exactly what's going to be happening in the next couple of weeks. Now, the first activity that's planned for you is this Thursday, January 12th at 5.30 to 6.30 and it's an eighth grade parent slash student meeting. And this will be here, right here at the middle school in the auditorium. And the reason why we have this meeting is for you to learn how to go on to career cruising and how to register for your high school courses. And this meeting is also for your parents. So we want your parents there with you. It's not just for the students. You should bring a parent with you. And we want parents to be involved as much as possible because, well, they're your parents. And so this also gives an opportunity for parents and students to ask questions of the high school counselors. So this meeting is on January 12th from 5.30 to 6.30. Now, if for some reason you can't make it and you're feeling a little nervous because you weren't able to make it, they are going to be showing a video during this time on how to register on career cruising. Well, if you come to my room during lunch on the day after, so this is Friday the 13th, I'll show the video again on Friday, the day after the 12th, so the 13th. And so if you were feeling a little nervous, if for some reason your parents couldn't make it, maybe they worked second shift and weren't able to make it there, or an emergency came up, I'll show this video again on Friday. So if you're feeling a little nervous or you just wanna watch it again, come on down during lunch on that Friday and I will show the video again. And if you have any questions, I'll do the best I can to help you with those questions. Granted, I might not know all of the answers to your questions because I teach here. I'm not one of the counselors at the high school, but you're more than welcome to attend. Then the next thing we have planned for you is we're going to take you on a tour of the high school. When I say we, not really we, but we're going to take you down to the high school so they can give you a tour. And this will be on January 16th. So on the 12th, you have your parent meeting for registration. The 13th is if you missed the 12th, you can come down during lunch. I'll reshow the video, uh, bring your lunch with you, and you can watch the video there. Or if you want to watch it a second time, or if you have questions, I can help you with those. This is the following Monday. And hopefully it's the following Monday. Again, obviously all these dates may change if for some reason we have a snow day, school cancellation but the video is still good and it's still approximately what we do but the days may change slightly but as of right now on january 16th this is a monday during your science slash social studies block you're going to have an opportunity to go down to the high school and they're going to have you start registering for the high school and i believe they're going to try and get you to finish registering for the high school because it pretty freshman year is the quick year to register because a lot of the classes um, are required courses that you have to take. Now, when you go to your science slash social studies block, so for example, if you have me first hour, that's a science social studies block. What I want you to bring with you on Monday is your coat, bring your Chromebook because that's how you're going to do your registering, and bring something to write with. And if for some reason the high school counselors told you to bring something else, or we may add to it if we find out they want you to bring something else after you've already watched this video. But for sure you want to bring your coat because it's cold out. And make sure you have a Chromebook because that's how you're going to register. And then something to write with in case you want to take some notes. So, for example, if you have me first hour, you're going to bring these things to class. I'm going to take attendance. Then all the science slash social studies classes eighth grade classes that meet first hour we're all going to meet in the auditorium and then along with the middle school counselors and your teachers we're going to go down to the high school so if you have me third hour you'll be doing the same thing third and fourth hour if you have me fifth hour now if you have me second hour you'll actually be going to social studies first hour so your social studies teacher will bring you down so you're always going to meet in your class your first hour class, your third hour class, or your fifth class, they will take registration or attendance there, then they'll bring you to the auditorium. Now, what happens if you have math class first hour? Well, then that's not your science social studies block. You just have math like normal. What if you have um, language arts? Well, then you go to language arts. That's not your math science block. This is only during your math science blocks. 
So my first hour class will actually be down there first and second hour, and we'll get you back by the time third hour starts. My third hour assigned class will be down there third and fourth hour. And I don't have a fifth, sixth hour science block. I'm in math. But if you have Mr. Phillips, fifth hour, um, or Mr. Scrayback, fifth hour, they will take attendance. They will take everybody to the auditorium, and you will go down there with those teachers. If you have Mrs. Garcia, third hour, she will take attendance third hour, and she will take you to the auditorium, and we will be going down to the high school. So I don't want you to get confused with this. You're still going to have math like normal. You're still going to have language arts like normal. You're still going to have all your other classes. It's just you don't have to bring your science and social studies on those days. You just have to bring your coat, Chromebook, something to write with. And if for some reason there's something else, we'll let you know before you come to class that day. So this is what we're going to do. First thing we're going to do, again, you're going to have your normal classes. So if you come to my first hour class, I'm going to take attendance. Make sure you have your coat, your Chromebook, something to write with. Then what we're going to do is we're all going to meet up, and then we're going to travel to the high school as one large group. Once we get to the high school, depending on what hour you have or what block you have, science slash social studies, we're probably going to divide up into two groups. There is one section um, where there's only two classes. We may keep you all together. Now, if we divide you into two groups, we'll let you know what those groups are going to be before we go down there. So it might be everybody who has me for sciences in one group, everybody who has Mr. Phillips for sciences in another group. And so we'll let you know prior to when we go down there. And the reason why we're going to let you know prior to going down there is because half of you are going to tour the high school first, and then half of you are going to start registration. And then you guys are going to flip-flop. So we have to make sure we have approximately half of you in one group, half of you in another group. And we have to be able to take attendance. We have to be able to account for you. So if for some reason, Mr. Gannell has uh, an emergency comes up and Mr. Gannell needs to find someone, he should be able to look at the list that we've created, call down to the high school and say, oh, so-and-so is in Mr. Wittoon's group. They're the first group. And then he should be able to contact you or find you pretty quickly. What we don't want to have happen is have you go down to the high school and have you just go with your friends, and then we don't really know what group you're in. And if something comes up, we can't track you. So we are going to ask you to be in a certain group and make sure you stay within those groups so we can account for you down at the high school. We'd hate to lose you. Now, one of the other opportunities you're going to get, or some of the other things you're going to have an opportunity to do down at the high school, you're going to, again, have a chance to ask some questions and get some answers to those questions. And once you have that opportunity, we're going to depart from the high school, we're going to come back to the auditorium, and we're going to wait for the bell. And, you know, we're usually let you out a minute or two early because we realize you have your coach and you need to go to your locker. So having three minutes to get from the auditorium to your locker to get to your next class isn't always feasible. So we'll probably let you out a minute or two early so you can get your coats up to your locker, get all your stuff because you won't have your books with you, and be able to get to your next class on time. Now, let's talk about the scheduling a little bit. If you're a little nervous about this, and uh, don't don't be. We're gonna have you're gonna have plenty of opportunities to ask questions. If you're wondering, okay, what courses are required? Your counselors are gonna let you know that. If you're wondering about what classes are optional, I'm gonna show you where you can look that up in just a little bit. And you can actually plot out your full full four years of your high school in the website that I'm gonna show you briefly. So don't worry about these things. And the one thing I want to remind you is we've never had an eighth grader come back to the eighth grade for a second year because they couldn't handle the registration process. They couldn't figure it out. They couldn't do it. Um, their parents couldn't make it to the meeting. They were absent on the day that we took the tour. We've never had an eighth grader come back. So if for some reason you can't make it to the meeting on that Thursday, the parent meeting, come down to my room the following lunch. If for some reason you have a really bad cold and you can't make it to school a couple different days, including the day we go down to register, we'll take care of you. Again, we've never had a person come back to the middle school for a second eighth grade year because they couldn't figure out how to register or they were absent on the days that we registered. We'll take care of you. Now, 
let's talk about what classes you can take and where to find those. This uh, page should look familiar. If you look up here, I'm actually on the Baraboo High School page. So if you go to the, the school district's website and you click on schools, click on the high school, you're going to get this page. Then down off to the right, you see this thing called Course Description Book. Click on that. And it's going to take you to a page that looks like this. Now, the one thing, there's a couple different things you want to look on here. One of the neat things is looking at the grade 9 choices. If you click on that, this gives you all the elective courses that you can take. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out of this presentation. I'm going to go to the website. So here's the high school's website. Again, if I click on course description book, I get to this page. Now this page tells you all the different courses that you can take. So if you're really interested in science, click on science once. I know it's everybody's favorite subject. And if you click on it, it gives you uh, career clustering and how to connect to the science department. One of the neat things they have is right here, science graduation requirements. You can find out how many um, credits you need to graduate. And it says three right here. And you can look down here, it says biology is required. So everybody must take biology. But once you take biology, look at all these different options. There's earth science, there's chemistry, there's physics, there's advanced placement physics, advanced placement biology, advanced placement chemistry. There's um, EMT, anatomy, biotech um, apps. So there's all kinds of different courses you can take, including fundamentals of engineering. So these are all the different courses you can take. You do have to take biology first, and that will be your freshman year. But after that, you can take all these different courses. If you're wondering, what is chemistry? Well, if you scroll down, you can figure out what chemistry is because there's a description of what chemistry is. And it'll tell you, do you want to take integrated chemistry, physics? That's this course here. Or do you want to take the full chemistry? So in high school, you really start to get a lot of options. So that is your science. Now, if I go back up here to ninth grade choices, this says ninth grade elective course options. And if you scroll through here, you might be saying, yes, I don't have to take any math. Well, it's down here. So here's your math that you're going to be taking. And here's your English. Here's your um, PE. Here's your science. Here's your social studies. So there are some courses you have to take. These are all the ninth grade courses that are electives. So once you take the required courses, these are all the classes you can pick from. So if you're really into computer science, look at all these different classes that you can take from. Now you can take them as freshmen, but don't worry. If you don't have enough room in your schedule to take, say, art as a freshman, you can take these classes as a sophomore. You can take them as a junior. I've known some seniors who will take these classes because even though they're available to you as a freshman, they're not truly freshman courses. Now, so here are these courses. Now, when it comes to registering for these courses, don't be concerned. We may have you all register for the same math class to begin with, but it's really early in the year. The high school really doesn't know what level of math you're at yet. And that's where your math teachers, um, your language arts teachers, we will let the high school know prior to the end of the year what level of math you're going to be in what level of English you're going to be in. Because some of you are in ninth grade English right now. Some of you are taking algebra right now. And some of you are taking geometry right now. So don't worry or don't panic if during the registration process we have everybody register for algebra to begin with. We will take care of you. We will make sure that you're registered for the right courses. And if you ever are concerned, you're more than welcome to contact the high school and talk to them about your courses. But it is really early in the school year yet. And remember, if, you wanna, if you're in algebra right now, you have to pass that um, final exam in order to pass out of algebra. So you do have to do that as well. So we don't want to say, yep, you're definitely in geometry right now, because what happens if you don't pass algebra? So make sure you keep studying. Make sure you keep working hard. Now, if you have any questions about the, this registration process, if you are concerned with anything that's coming up, Make sure you talk to one of your teachers. Make sure you talk to one of your um, counselors. We are here to help you. This is a process that we've been going through with the ninth graders or eighth graders, ninth graders to be for years. So again, there's no reason to feel nervous. And if you ever do have any questions, feel free to contact your counselors. Feel free to talk to your teachers about it. 
You know, for example, if you're really interested in a science career, talk to your science teachers about it. If you're really interested in art, talk to the art teacher about it. What kind of options are there? And so your teachers are here to help you. And we want to let you know that you're moving on to the high school, but yet we're willing to help you with that transition. So again, thanks for listening to this. And if you have any questions at all, please ask. Now, what we'd like you to do now is we'd like you all to get your Chromebooks out, go to the Baraboo High School page, click on the course description book, and we'd like you to look over the courses that you have. So that way, when you go down to the high school on Monday and you register, or when you go to the parent meeting on Thursday, you're already familiar with some of the classes that you have um, the option of taking. So go ahead, use the rest of this time to explore the course booklet. Thank you.